Okay, welcome to the Lobo Den Podcast. Today we have Amy Blaze from the Happy Corner Podcast. That includes KB Marion, who's been on Lobo Den, and her brother, Timmy Blaze. Anyways, uh, we talk about Joliet, butt stuff, tattoos, getting a tattoo across my stomach, maybe with somebody's name on it. I don't know. Anyways, this fight in Waukee we pulled up. My sister, her getting a job. Talk about the first time she smoked weed. Oh, the Happy Corner, THC, right? Okay, acronym. Anyways, talk about vaccine, sex, panic attacks, crying. Uh, but check out our podcast, the Happy Corner THC. They come out every week now. And also, if you want to record a podcast, record it at the People of Comedy Studio with James Webb. So hit up James for art, NFTs, and if you want to record a pod. Okay. And anyways, tell a friend, please, you want to stick or anything, listen and subscribe to the Patreon, support the podcast, get more stuff out. I got uh, gear, so DM me, and I think I can sell you stuff. All right, love it now. Okay, welcome to Lobo Den Podcast. I'm your host, Giovanni Diaz. What, uh, this is the second podcast I'm recording. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> My stupid clock is... All right. Uh, that's not going to stop or anything. I have a clock to pay attention to see where <laughs> we're at on time so I don't go over. All right. Like I said, Giovanni Diaz, Lobo Den Podcast. This is my second recording of the night. With to the left, James Webb, people at Comedy Studio. What's up, James? Say hi to the What's people. What's up, Giovanni? Again. I haven't seen you in five minutes. You haven't seen him in five minutes because I. And then to my in front of me, I always say this is Amy Blaze. <laughs> Hello, to my Amy in front Blaze of me. Amy <laughs> Blaze from the Happy Corner Podcast, THC. That's me. She yes, the one of the most popular podcasts in the scene. It's very clever, THC. Thank you. I yes. love that, dude. That's great. Do you yeah. know how long it takes? Oh, people to your, realize? Is that your merch? Yeah, That's yeah. I have my merch, own merch dude. on. I oh, wear my yeah. own merch. Yep. So I had fuck. thank you. I had no idea up until maybe last year. Like nobody. I'm nobody. saying, and we're on season five. <laughs> yeah, it was. My like, oh. dad said the other day. He confessed to my brother. He's like, I feel really bad. They're on season <laughs> five, and I just realized it's THC. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, we're well, clever. Because nobody writes out the the acronym of the pocket. What I wonder what the logo then said. T L D. Oh, okay. Like a little bit of a what's the name Some of that guy? T L D. What's it? That uh, sounds sexy. What's the name of that guy? Uh, who used to be on T R L? Carson uh, Daly. Carson yeah. Daly, right? T L D reminds me of T R L a little bit. Get some T L D. Remember him? He was a nice. It sounds guy. like something sexual. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, T L. Yeah, he's yes. down for some T L D. Yeah, you down for some. I'm TLD. down for a lot of things. <laughs> I think whatever TLD is, you're down for it. Don't yeah. worry, honestly. Yeah. Whatever it is. Hey, okay, you're white. I'll go into this. Okay, uh, yep. Is I've noticed this because before, I don't know if it's a white thing, like white women, do they like to put thing things in men's asses? Is that a white thing? or is that, cause uh, I, I don't. Oh, I don't, okay. I don't like to put things <laughs> okay. in anybody's butt, not even my own. No? No. Oh, wow. No. I, I was going to say, like, you're from, I figured it was, you're from Joliet, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I, th- I figure like Joliet, it's like required. <laughs> <laughs> it's a requirement to live in Joliet. You you need to get it in the. You need like butt stuff. And yeah, and, so. and the butt, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Never had tried it once. Was tried it the it. lube or no lube? Um. Uh. <laughs> yeah. He the guy that I did butt stuff with mm-hmm. first off was a large man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also used Vaseline on my butthole, oh, which okay. is you gotta use uh, don't use Vaseline. water based lubricant, right? Right. It's it, wh- just, it just gives you a greasy butthole. Yeah. <laughs> it kills the mood a little bit. Makes you feel like an Italian on your ass. Right. And I'm Italian enough. So. Oh, hey, you're Italian? Uh-huh. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> Forget about it. Forget right? about it. Yeah. You're now like- I can finally start talking with my hands. I've been holding back. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I recently learned like it's way better with uh, with lube. Like I found- For you or for her? Oh, for her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like- <laughs> no for both parties I'm did sure. i bring up the butt plug no i haven't right i'm waiting for the patreon there's a butt plug i'll talk about it on the patreon but okay. like mm-hmm. <laughs> was it a baby Jesus okay, you know what plug? i talked about the thing fin- okay so before i met jessica i got fingered by some uh, girl i used to sleep with mm-hmm. and i didn't enjoy that because it was like she was uh was it something you you talked about beforehand or she just do go for it no so what happened with that one is hey james can you raise my ears a little bit i want to hear myself more i like listening of course to you do <laughs> okay i need to hear about my fingering buttholes louder <laughs> like i want to yeah how's that yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. well, yeah that sounds good yeah and the james voice came in <laughs> so then I was uh, uh, 
Oh, the, she was like, she kind of like played with the area, and I was like, "What is she doing?" I was like, "No, you know, it's off. Li- I'm Mexican, so that's off limits. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's the real wall, right okay, down yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the real wall. <laughs> yeah, that's the fucking real wall. It's like okay. no, mm-hmm. nothing's going on Mexicans. But, but then I was like, I don't know if it's the podcast, and I like, feel like I have a reputation. I think I'm like. I'm okay with this if I do it. You know what I mean? People, my friends know I'm kind of like wild a little bit. Right. So and then I was like, you know what? Fucking YOLO, right? Those you words. Try it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. you know what? I was like, go for it, right? But I didn't like how it went down. She cause just went and was just going like in and out and it was just aggressive. And I was Ooh, just like. She was not delicate at all. No, huh? no. And I was like there and I kind of. <sighs> she must have. She's, she's probably fingered a lot of buttholes. If I, she's that aggressive, she's like, I know what that you want. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, man. <laughs> and I wasn't. <laughs> I and I wasn't down, and I was like, no, like it wasn't. It didn't feel, and I felt dirty the next day, and then I was like, yeah. tell my friends about it. You of know, course, you did. Yeah, one of my friends yeah. stopped. Didn't well, he's super homophobic. He didn't talk to me for three weeks. He set a date. Like, I'm not. I can't talk to you about. Wow. Until he put this it date. in his calendar. Yeah, he did. Set an alarm. I remember that day. I talked to him. I was like, oh wait, what day is it? I was like, okay, we could talk. Yeah, we could talk again. <laughs> but he was like, yeah, he was you're like, cleansed. Yeah, I'm cleansed, right? But yeah. The next day, what affected me the most is like it kind of hurt when I would sit down, so I think about it, right? And it just felt. It Did you have felt nails, weird. Giovanni? And nails too. They weren't that long well mm. see this wouldn't feel good no well actually okay all right. i think no, it depends. we're not mm-mm. we're not gonna do it we're not gonna go no there. we're not gonna do it in a podcast <laughs> no, like no, no no or ever oh or no ever. but like look like uh jessica my girlfriend had nails and then i let her fucking finger me in the shower and i was like <laughs> and she had her nails and i was like all right i think it's with someone you love it's different it's like you know i'm cool with this versus like a stranger's is aggressively pounding you it's like right, it isn't right like right you know, there's it's, nobody that will hold you afterwards. Right. You know to I mean? make you, yeah, to, to hold you while you cry. Are you single? Am I, yeah, I'm, I'm single. You were married, single, right? Yeah. With, I forgot. He, he's still producing on the podcast. I mm-hmm. forgot his name. We're calling him Stanley this week. Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the, do you guys still live together? Yeah, we live together. How is that? Um, it's, well, at this point, I'm guessing it's normal, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's pretty normal, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we coexist. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were married for two years. I remember you guys were married on Facebook. Yeah, we got married, married on, on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> I saw the pictures on Facebook because yeah. before I was like closer to the scene. I was like, "Oh, look, that's yeah. cool." I mean, I liked it. I didn't feel close enough to comment, but I wanted to at least like it. I think. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah, yeah. So I liked your. Yeah, your we. Ranger. I was. I was in comedy for maybe like two, three weeks before uh, he proposed to me, mm-hmm. and then we got married in 2016. And then separated in like 2018. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What went wrong? Uh, you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. No, I I would never. <laughs> I we just uh, honestly like we got to a point where I was really starting to not like him. Like I just <laughs> I really fucking hated him, and uh, I didn't want to get to that point because I I do like I have respect for him and he's he's actually like a good friend Mm -hmm. you know he's just we're not we don't work Uh, okay so uh yeah just i i was like hey before i full-on like full-blown hate you we should probably get a divorce we should should probably separate (laughs) well i i I offered the separation Mm -hmm. and i was like hey you gotta like you we both gotta work on some stuff you know and he didn't like make an effort to do anything so i was like well that answers that let's uh get that the, okay the, but did he exp- it's not like it, it blindsided him or anything right oh no no he bless you mike up. yeah bless you mike <laughs> mike's bless here he's heart. not gonna come on the mic bro <laughs> bless his heart yeah so uh when when did you guys start the podcast how'd you guys start it i don't know I don't um I don't when i started story. comedy in 2014 i think it was 2014 um at Mojo's? Was yeah, that your first room? That or? was my first room. I didn't even know like comedy existed. I thought like people I'm like, oh, people are just doing this for funsies, like in this basement. So I was like In plain field. In plain field, yep. Yeah. Um so I went there with my brother and uh Who I thought was your man on, Yeah, because everybody of were yeah, either either we're twins or we're fucking. Or we're we're fucking twins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, we do this. what was I talking about? What were we were talking about? Uh, I asked you about when how the podcast. Oh, the podcast. Started. So I had been at Mojo's like a few times, and KB, uh, I think either was out of KB state. KB Marin, your co-host, my co-host. I, she was either out of state or she was taking a comedy hiatus, so I didn't even know of her existence. Oh. And at the time at Mojo's, I was like the only female that was going to that place. So I was like, that must have been fun, right? I was loving it. <laughs> I was loving it because. I was funny too, so it wasn't like anybody hated me there. You oh, know? okay. Like, look at that bitch. Yeah, Ooh. this dumb bitch. Uh, yeah. So KB showed up one night, and everybody was so excited to see her, 
And I was she like, she made her grand entrance. Yeah, so everyone okay. was like, yeah. So I was like, who's this chick? So she went up, and I'm like, oh fuck, she is hilarious, and that's intimidating. And then she saw my set, and uh, she came outside afterwards, and she's like, uh, I want to work with you. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I want to work with you. Ooh. And I was like honored. So we worked on a um, an animation for a while uh, that kind of fell through, but it was like a magic school bus type of ripoff. But like KB would be Miss Frizzle, but she would be super real. And the history, she would teach the kids the history that the schools aren't teaching us. The so like history. the really shitty parts of history. Oh, okay. So we were getting into that, and it just it it didn't go as far i don't have any talent with i can't voice act or anything so i wasn't of much help but then she's just like let's do a podcast okay so that's how thc started and it had no format whatsoever it was just the two of us talking in a porch and being baked all the time who was your producer was it just um, you? No, Tim well when the happy corner started we literally recorded on a cell phone and just like uploaded the oh, audio, that's down. Yeah, yeah. right? And then uh, I was I was planning a wedding at the time, so all of our equipment, our soundboards and stuff. So we just progressively got more equipment. Sterling now Stanley. Right? Now Stanley, okay. yeah, he's Stanley this week. Uh, <laughs> so he bought, you know, and then we started doing video, and it was just like the setup. It was just so like crappy, and you know. Not well, with Joe Rogan's first one, they had like snowflakes. I remember yeah, they had yeah. those old school mics. We just we like just that. made uh an we just made the we're gonna get better every year. So every year we've gotten better. Now we're in season five. You know we had to take we took a break for a year because KB moved to LA. LA, yeah, Fuck California, yeah. And I didn't know if I knew then what I know now that we could just Skype it in. Well, people didn't realize it until it was like the end of the world that you can you can zoom yeah, we stuff can do and things that. like that. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, we would have kept the podcast going, but but that's all right. Look, I I'm not gonna smoke any weed, right? On this mic, not on this mic. I've smoked when Joe came. So Joe Beasley, mm-hmm. he was a uh, he's a tattoo. I gotta have my on tattoo again. artist. He's yes. your tattoo artist. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the? F- it's Ink. Envi- Envision Ink. Envision Ink, right? Mm-hmm, in, in Chicago Ridge. Envision Ink. I wanted to get a tattoo, but mm-hmm. uh, but. Um, girlfriend said i shouldn't get it until i get her pregnant uh i was gonna get jessica across my stomach I'm Why? Not j- no don't like, doom yourself giovanni no but then i could just date another chick's name jessica i keep it up no <laughs> no what are you i am like a firm like i don't date the same name am i the only one we know you're not what do you mean the same name like oh. i won't date the same name more than once because they usually ruin it for me I'm trying to think. I don't. I have issues with the name Scarlett uh, Maricela. Okay. And yeah, there's names you th- won't date. My, well, that's my niece, and then my like. Oh, that's my sister, right? My niece is Ariana. Uh, like those names bother me. My Why niece, are you my confused? And my mom as to what your sister and your niece's name? Because I forget are. that my niece is not my sister. Okay. A lot. Because you know right. I mean? mm-hmm. she's like there. Whatever. She's there. You so, got it. So my sister. Mm-hmm. Well, well, she was Scarlet. Now she's Angel, even though Angel's her first name, Angel Scarlet Diaz. Now she goes by Angel, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, by her first name, like her, she's a sister, but she was like a sister daughter. Because when my dad got deported, I kind of helped raise her, so we had a different relationship. And then my sister, sister Evelyn. Oh, happy birthday! It's her birthday today, Evelyn. I got her nothing. Good and for you. And you're here. And you're here. Yeah, I'm not getting. Her and you just told her happy birthday on the podcast when you I, remember. I, I, I went on Facebook and I put a link to a job application place from Randstad. But I put pictures of all of us together. Actually, can you bring, pull up the Facebook, right? Uh, go to, go to, he, yeah, let's see if it's public. Evelyn Diaz. Uh, yeah, Evelyn, happy birthday. Wow. She doesn't work like two, I was like, today, like the other day, I was like, I've had enough. Just get a job or let's see, if, yeah, let's see if you can see it. Let's see. No, Lil Nas X, Lil Nas X, Lil Nas X. Oh, oh, look, look at Waukegan. Can you see that video? That's a bar in Waukegan I went to with Jessica the other day. That wasn't that they were together. I was going to say, was is this you guys? Uh, <laughs> 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 my sister shared this. She's like, that we can't. Is this how Joe Holy is? Holy shit. Oh I my mean. my God, it's shit. You are fucking, no, you're a puta. No, you are, <laughs> right? Uh, people who are not watching this on YouTube, uh, there's Mexicans, 22 to 27. They're fighting. Oh, no, puta. Oh, oh, oh. oh I got him in a chokehold. I didn't see all this. You stupid. Oh, someone spilled drinks. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Oh, she I broke my nail and shit. Damn. Happy birthday, everyone. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> That's Waukegan. That's what's going down in Waukegan right now. I that's, mean, yeah, that's, in, in, that's yeah. That's in general uh, par for the course. Of it. Okay. Is this is this how Joliet is? Uh, I don't I don't leave. I don't know who the fuck is. Oh, that's Mercedes Nails. Oh, you're not. It, you're not. It's not even today. Like so, it's not even her birthday. Yeah, it might not come. Well, you it's did not this. Public, you did this public. on her birthday. You posted a job application for her birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, let's go back. So, it's uh, she was. <clears throat> I have a computer. I got so she. Does I have a job? And then I was like, I had a, a reference, actually from Jessica, my girlfriend, about this job for Whirlpool. And I was like, and the other day she called me about it and she's like, she asked me for money because all her stimulus money is my bank account. Mm -hmm. So then she'll call me, send me this, send me that. And then finally I was like, like she was like 400 this and i was like how, how, how much money in my head i was like how much money are you spending like you don't do it and i was and then finally i was like what's going on i was like you can get a job like it's been two and i snapped and i was like it's been two years because i haven't had these conversations with her it's like i have enough you gotta get a fucking job like but I've, on her birthday huh no that was on her birthday her oh, birthday okay. happy birthday evelyn i thought you did it today no no not today. i thought you're like for her birthday i posted a job application. oh well i did that today anyways but this is the other day we're talking okay okay and she's sure. like what about that job whirlpool did you follow up with that she's like where's the link and i was this is where i get mad where it's like you're an adult you could have looked it up but okay and i was like all right and i was so i asked jessica Kim, what, what's the link and i found it and then she asked me about it today the other day and I, she couldn't find it so she was trying so i felt better like she was trying yesterday See? right so then you all did right good work so then i was like you know what you I'm, pushed her i found the link yeah she was trying i found the link and then i posted it. i said happy birthday and then I posted the link. But then I posted pictures of us. Uh, here, I can pull it up on here. And I posted pictures of us as little babies, right? You know? That's sweet. I think okay. I thought you, you were just like claiming to be a huge dick on your sister's birthday. So I was just, it, it's, I was just clarifying. It's frustrating. You know, she's still my sister. I still love her. But it's sometimes it's frustrating. I don't hey, know. Do you, you know have siblings? What? Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you know one of them. Oh, yeah. Timmy Blaze. And he's been <laughs> on my podcast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have I have three siblings. I have three older brothers. Where do you fall with your parents? Like, do, are you the favorite? Who's the favorite? Uh, my brother Craig is the favorite. Oh, okay. What does Craig do? Is he a uh, doctor? No, Craig is a government worker. He, uh, but he has kids. Like, he's got the little kids. Oh, he has. So, but he's. We've always joked that Craig's the favorite. I don't know why. That's just mommy's baby. I don't know. I mm -hmm. don't. There's there's definitely a different. Tim and I are the black sheep. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. Does Craig smoke marijuana? No, not with his government job. Oh, he, he wants does to. Have a he would. Job, he yeah. would. You still can't smoke? No, you still can't. Uh, smoke. Yeah, right. Because federal yeah. stuff. Blah blah yeah. blah. They they pop you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have a crack pipe. Would you ask me about crack earlier? Before I, don't, I started the podcast. I don't think so. I oh, don't, I don't think I asked okay. you about crack. All right, and then continue. I don't have crack, but I have a crack pipe. <laughs> Why? Uh, I would use it to allegedly. Allegedly. Do a form. No, my friend would use it. Giovanno, for, it was like a form of a, you get a piece of foil and you put stuff on it mm -hmm. and then right, you right, put right, water right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's a way of freebasing substances. So you've heard? Huh? Yes. Right. Yeah, some Italian, told you? Some fat Italian dude <laughs> showed him. Wow. And he had the crack pipe for that purposes because he was afraid. Uh, Does he, he still have the crack pipe? The pipe is there, yeah. But it hasn't been used. It still has a rose in it. You know how they come with the little no, rose No, yeah, the ones it? you buy at the gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was showing Jessica, look, have you ever seen a crack pipe? I was like, look, that's a crack pipe. You your friend should throw it away. I huh? feel like I feel like your your friend should throw that away. No, but you still use it for. What do you keep? What does he keep it for? Nostalgic I, I, purposes, like, yeah, as a reminder. I mean, Was like ever, one time, yeah, like ever done. Let's say allegedly she'd be okay with that friend doing white stuff. Uh huh. I don't think she'd prefer that that method of intake. No, as long as I would tell I her, I wouldn't prefer. That. It'd be like <laughs> I don't think anyone would. Prefer yeah, it, would it, but unless she was joining you. No, no, unless you were sharing, right? But this is the thing, like, the friend would do it because it's less of a high, it only lasts about 30 minutes versus, like, the 40, up to an hour on the powdery form of this That's substance. That's not that much of a, you're saying one's 45 minutes and one's an hour. Let's say about, one's an hour and it's closer to 30 minutes. But because he, I was like, it was late and it's like, man, I still want to get some work done mm -hmm. and work on his podcast, right? <laughs> T O D. You're, you're having a real hard time <laughs> queuing up with your own characters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he wanted to work on the podcast. He's like, look, I don't want to stay up that late. So this will last. So he would right. do it for logical purposes, but nobody, it looks really bad. And it just, yeah, it's just naturally. Yeah. Right. Like, somebody took a picture of him and it looked bad. It doesn't, it's not a good look 
when you have a piece of aluminum foil and then probably not no. there's thing on it what do you is it weed do you like is that what Love you, your, weed. your main thing that's what, my main when's the first time you had weed you smoked weed <laughs> Well, I know your brother used to play know, baseball and he started smoking weed. He yeah, said, I that. I found out from my brother that the first time that I smoked weed was not the first time I smoked weed, that I totally got duped and I only found out years and years and years later. So the first time I thought I smoked weed, I was ransacking through my brother's drawers like I do as a little mm-hmm. sister does and I found a big fat joint and I was like, I'm stealing this. I, I was very anti-drug. The drug, yeah. the D.A.R.E. program worked on me. I was very anti-drug. I promised I would never do it. So I had this joint, and I brought it upstairs, and I was like, I'm going to smoke this. And so I took a couple hits of it, and I was like, this is fucking garbage. And I broke it, and I threw it in the toilet, and I flushed it. Now, looking back on that, I realized how much weed I probably threw away of my brother's. And we were at an open mic and there was like a segment on this open mic where it's like afterthoughts and you talk about exactly this. What like, mic was this? Uh, Stonehouse. Go down for comedy in okay. Lamont. Okay. And the subject of the night was like the first time you smoked weed. So I tell this story and I tell my, like, so I'm, so I'm confessing to Tim that I stole his weed, mm-hmm. smoked a little bit of it, and then flushed it down the toilet. And I'm like apologizing. Like, I'm so sorry I did this to you. Tim follows up and goes up and he's like, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the first time I smoked weed. I'm going to talk about how uh, we once bought catnip, rolled it into (laughs) joints and then made our friends smoke it and told them it was weed and then threw them in drawers and completely forgot about them until (laughs) just now when you mentioned smoking my catnip. (laughs) So that was not the first time I smoked weed. I don't know the first time I smoked weed. But I enjoyed it after that. Oh, a lot. okay. The yeah. same thing with me. Like I tried to smoke weed with my friend Jerome, half black, but um, relevant. Yeah, <laughs> like it was lighter skin. What well, was the first time? You know, his mom was there, and she was a really nice uh, lady. She, I think, she follows my page. Anyway, she just messaged me the other day, sent us a pictures of us when we were younger. He's my first friend who wasn't like, I guess, Mexican. I learned about mm-hmm. things like dumplings and people like say grace before food and like i learned Mm, different cultures mm -hmm. like oh this is different you know what i mean he didn't like menudo he was like this is he's like this is gross (laughs) this is disgusting yeah i felt a little insulted i was like i like this stuff he's like that was disgusting because the texture some people don't like that that (laughs) That texture texture, i like it you know but i like oysters and all kinds of nasty shit but (laughs) um but anyways the hell was i talking oh weed so we found like mexicans uh they they put older mexican ladies put weed shittier weed into the and alcohol thing and they use it as a as a they let it whatever oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And they use it as a as a rub or oil right. or whatever so we took the weed out of that thing <gasps> dried it out and then tried to smoke it oh no actually aluminum foil yeah no. we rolled the aluminum All of foil this is no. into a pipe and then we got we went into the the sink or whatever and took the little metal piece right and put that in and we like we smoked we smoked we didn't but we didn't get high because i mean it's been sitting in right d in alcohol i'm surprised you didn't get long. sick uh maybe that's why i'm the way i am now <laughs> maybe that is the way <laughs> yeah why you because you don't want to smoke not older like you don't you don't want to smoke at a metal you want to smoke at a glass right and then you don't want to uh smoke weed that's been sent to alcohol for like a probably year or not. two no yeah. probably not so, i would not try to sift weed out of alcohol to smoke we smoked when we were younger we didn't have rolling papers you know how it was like the thing to like take i don't know if bubble gum. no oh. we uh bible paper and roll oh, it God. you know that was a that was a thing. Anybody? No, that was just me. James, okay. you ever smoked I'm a, a I'm a fucking heathen. I have, I okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. Good. I'm not no completely a heathen, but uh, we didn't even have the Bible. The, 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 the Torah. So, so, so. <laughs> no, somebody. We were teenage. We were teenage girls, and somebody had like their. They're not like makeup wipes, but they're like these little sheets that absorb the oil in your face. Yeah, yeah it's disgusting, and when you put it on your face, they like go clear. It's so you put it on the face first and then roll it's, the- it. Ab- no. Oh. <laughs> we didn't use it on our face. I'm saying this oh. is what they're for. Okay. Giovanni. Uh, I get it. So anyway, we rolled we rolled a joint with you, that. We rolled the all of us pads or whatever the hell they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And everybody threw up. It was <laughs> It was a good time. It was a good time. We're all on this porch just puking off the side. 
and then oh and then smoking no yeah is it so so no psychedelics none of that other stuff i like mushrooms oh okay i've only done them a handful of times but um the last time it was a, a very bad time so i was kind of deterred for a little bit but we're gonna do it soon i think how many grams yeah. did you do Oh, I don't know. Oh, I went to jail on mushrooms, so that you went to up. jail on. Yeah, my, how yeah. was that experience? Horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it I can hit imagine. Me, it hit me right as a peak was hitting me. That's when we, I. What they did you me get arrested car. for? Three and a half, either one, a half gram and a half of weed in a pipe and, a, and a hauls bag, right? Because I had the guys pull me. They pulled me over, and I was like, "Can we search your car?" And usually, I'm like very gun ho. I know my rights. So I was like, mm-hmm. "No, you can't search me." Blah blah blah. I'm gonna hurry. What's up? But then this time I was high on mushrooms and I was like, yeah, go ahead. And my head is like, let me just search the fucking car so we can get the hell out of here. And I'm there sitting and I'm watching him. And then I see him pull out a bag of hauls and I'm like, oh shit, I don't have hauls in there. And I was like, yeah. fuck. And I, they pull out the pipe and whatever. And you know why I had weed on me? Because I would not keep, because I didn't want my mom to find my weed. So I'd keep it in my car so instead of the house. So kept it on you. So yeah. I kept it on me and yeah. got arrested or whatever in, in Mundelein. So they're very, very tough. On mushrooms. Obviously. Yeah, on mushrooms. And then, yeah, it was horrible. That sounds terrible. It sounds like a waste of mushrooms. Yeah, it was one of the worst experience of my life. But yeah. I had to pay like a thousand dollars. And it was, uh, but it looks kind of cool on my record. If you ever find my record, there's all these like, there's gun charges, other bu- charges. And then that got thrown out. And then you see the paraphernalia, whatever. It looks, it looks like I, I have some type of, but I don't. I don't have a record. On. Right. You've been arrested? No. It, I've never Mike, been arrested. You look like you've been arrested. Oh, you're not on the mic. You're not here. My bad. <laughs> Mike, yeah, not, not an insult. Sense. I don't hear to insult Mike, but it looks like he's been arrested. <laughs> I feel shitty for saying that, Mike. I've been arrested a few times. Dude. I did not think that about him when I saw I'm him. Sorry, I did Mike. not. I was not like you look like <laughs> you look like you've been to jail, dude. Do I look like I've been to jail? You look like you've been arrested. Yeah, I have. <laughs> do I look like I've been arrested? No, no. Yeah, I have. Do you do have more tat? Do you when 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 did uh, the tatting start? Right? When did you get tatted up first? Um, you have the chest tattoo. That's a cool one. Yeah, that was like uh, in the beginning. That one's that one's. Was that your first old. one? You went no, to the chest? my first one. I have uh, I have the these lips on my it's in my chest piece but Mm -hmm. these lips it says 1978 to 2005 that's the first tattoo i ever got it's for a friend of mine that passed away Mm -hmm. and uh and then i just kept adding but 2020 quarantine was the most tattoos i've gotten oh how many did you get that oh god lots you want to go to the face at all no you want to go higher neck no my mom uh tries to lecture me to stop she's like okay no more and i'm like you know your original comment was none on the face and i've been keeping to that but i'm not gonna say i'm stopping she's like no more tattoos Uh, no more tattoos (laughs) yeah that's how my mom talks so um i don't know well my first tattoo was out of my my parents hate tattoos Uh, yeah are your parents religious no Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No, you're not a Catholic or anything like that? I mean, yeah, I, I'm I'm Catholic. I'm not a practicing Catholic in the sense that I was like, they were like, hey, you're Catholic now. That's about go, it. Yeah. Well, Catholics aren't in really. In fifth grade oh, is when okay. they told me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they told me I was Catholic. Did you guys go to church? Uh, I remember going oh. to church a couple times when I was younger, but I was also the fourth child. So lugging four children, getting them dressed for church and lugging them to church, uh, was not a fun thing for Did my parents. you guys parents. dress up? Yeah, because we only went for like the special, like we were like, oh, Jesus needs to see us on Easter. Easter's coming up this Sunday. Yeah, we're not we're not going. Are you yeah. guys, are you gonna do anything fun for Easter? Oh yeah, we'll probably have a brunch and get shwasted and high. That's what me and my family do together, so. I'm gonna eat candy. Yeah. Well, oh, well, we might put out some eggs or something. I gave up. Do you give anything up for Lent? I do, I'm not religious, but I like to give uh, something Sometimes up. I give up stuff for Lent. Um, like. But like real stupid shit. Like I think last year, the year before, I gave up Pokemon. being being lazy. I oh. was like, "Hey, you give up being lazy for Lent?" <laughs> so just to like hold myself accountable. That's how I lost weight. Actually, is that was my I'm like for Lent, I'm giving up being lazy, and then I did. What you started to get active because we were yeah. doing keto at the same time. It was me, and you, and Mike. Yeah. Mike Fountain. We're all talking like we're on that keto thing. Yep, we did the keto thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I lost it. I lost a bunch of weight on keto, and then Same. I don't know. I don't do. Do I look? How do I look? Do I look fatter? I feel. I not since the last time I saw you. No. 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 When do I you feel re- like you looked this not two weeks ago? I mean, uh-huh. before that. <laughs> uh-huh. Not before that. Do you remember when we first met? I'm trying to remember if it was. Uh, I don't know. If it was Mojo. So Mo, like people don't know Mojo's is it's like one of the first mics out in the suburbs that kind of started. It was like the original, right? In the in the suburb open. I think so. I mean, it was around before I started, so 
Yeah, it was some guy who's uh, I forgot. I forgot. Johnny P and Ian Ellis. Yeah, ran Johnny it. P and Ian yeah. Ellis. Right. Mm-hmm. I was just talking about because we were at Mojo's before we came here. You had wings. No, I had to drop off. The owner of Mojo's just ordered a um, like sixty candles from me because I have a candle business. Um, what so kind of ordered. candles are you doing? Oh, all are they kinds. On? Can we pull them up? Can we see the candles? Yeah, that's on my Facebook. It's called Blaze Candles. Uh, when did you start doing candles? Uh, Tim and I started doing candles. Oh, we right opened a, a, a candle company um, back before we started comedy. That was our thing, is candles. Yep, those are my candles. So I had to make 60 of those. I have 70 different What are these, scents. just different flavors? Yep. Yeah, Don't not flavors, scents. Flavors. Don't, oh, you don't, don't eat candles, eat them. right? Please don't eat them, no. Mm-mm. But yeah, there's, I made like two of each. So there's like 30 different scents that she, so she bought 60 and she's going to give them away. Now I can't own candles, right? You're not allowed to fire. Yeah, yeah. I I know my time, the type who would like, I forget things like, Mm -hmm. like, okay, so I used to leave the oven thing on. What is that? The oven range? The oven top? Mm. Where you cook tortillas? The stove top, right? Stove, yeah. Uh, uh, do the CBSs in Joliet have tortillas? The ones that, I'm not sure. Okay. I've never looked. All right. Well, I'm, I'm Mexican, right? And I was in the CBS in Kenosha. And I was like, I told, cause I was with Jessica and my girlfriend. I was like, go, let's go get tortillas. We'll go to CBS. She's like, they're going to have in CBS. I was like, of course they are. Right. So I go over there and they don't, and I'm like, you guys have tortillas? They're like, no, I live in Waukegan. So you're, I'm used to have Walgreens right. and CBSs that have tortillas and candles, right? With the Virgin Mary. We, oh like, yeah. yeah. Our dollar store has that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, there, uh, progress, right? There's yeah, progress there. Yeah. And then, you know, for people getting out of the jail. So then, uh, <laughs> Joliet has, you guys are famous for the jail? That's about it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, I mean, hey, our dairy, the first Dairy Queen ever was in Joliet. Oh, really? Yeah. I, yeah. I, okay, so I just, I can't look at Dairy Queen the same. Because I... <laughs> This, this town next to me, Joaquin, is called Zion. We used to have the, that was the closest Dairy Queen we had to us, mm-hmm. but it closed down because the owner got into it with a lady in the drive through and called her a hard R word. <gasps> oh, no. And it shut down in about two weeks, wow. right? So it's always. Yeah, we haven't had that problem in Joliet. Yeah, so no. that's, I have certain things that are associated with like. Uh, so you won't even visit our DQ because of that one guy. Um, maybe yeah, I've tried the burger or something. Maybe I want to yeah. have the burger. <laughs> Just try it out. Like All I can't, right. I can't look at big pretzels the same way anymore, because we That's were. That's a shame. I was at. Uh, you've done. Have you done Mustangs before out in South? I Hawaii? haven't. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't. No, I. Well, I did it Wednesday. <laughs> and then one of the guys was really drunk, and when Nate Burroughs was up, Nate Burroughs, you know Nate, right? He's Jewish. And Relevant. Then, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's about to be. <laughs> okay. So then one of the guys, Nate. <laughs> there was this one heckler, right? He was the whole. He was just wasted. Like I would. Lo- I was watching him from the, from the bar, and he was like. His eyes had that, didn't know where they were looking. Mm-hmm. And he would just yell things like, I'm not the pretzel. Somebody bought a big pretzel there. And the pretzel was like this size. The yeah, size it's of, huge. Yeah, huge, right? And then it was the size like a bigger steering wheel for, you know, maybe like one of those big vans. For yeah. Him. So, and then he starts yelling, whatever. He's heckling throughout the show at different times, like randomly, like, I like you. I don't like And finally, like, Nate was like, you know what? Everybody's having a good time. And he started complimenting him, right? Mm-hmm. And everything I was like, all right, everything's good. And then he yells, I, I don't like you. And he was like, I'm not the pretzel guy. I'm not the pretzel guy. I didn't buy the pretzel. He's defending himself. He didn't buy and all of a sudden, he's like, but I like Jews. <laughs> it doesn't mean I don't like Jews or something like that. And wow. Nate, and Nate's wow, like, no. we had to really double back. Yeah, like, yeah. And Nate's like, look, if you say that, you actually don't like you Jews. You don't like Jews, dude. You know, so now it's like, yeah. So now I can't look at pretzels the same because I'm thinking about this drunk guy in South Beloit. So, so recently. Wednesday. That's, that's a re- recent. Safe? Oh, last yeah, this Wednesday. This just wow. happened. Yeah. yeah, this just happened. Yeah, this just. So you haven't had to, you haven't gotten to eat a big old pretzel. No, since last Wednesday. No, because of the yeah. The, I'm so sorry. The, I did want. Well, I did have some steak and some wings there. That was pretty good. Oh, oh, there. Yeah. So they sell big pretzels, steak. The food's actually pretty decent. <laughs> I don't know. Hit up what is it? Cranes, but now he's KB presents Cranes butter. As long as he does it. I know it throws me off that it says KB. KB. Oh, because of KB Marion. Right, my co-host. KB uh, presents. So that was. I mean, I've always had a, a good time there, but like, there's times where. Did I'm, you meet Cranes? Yeah, he exists. He does exist. He does exist. I've never met him. He doesn't I've touch done you. a shows. I've done a show or two. He doesn't touch you. He's like a Harry Mandel. Like he won't touch you. Is this is before Ho? COVID. Yeah, yeah. Ho, before COVID. Yeah, he's kind of like this. I like, think he actually messaged me on Facebook <laughs> for the first time like ever. <laughs> what did he say? I think it was he was asking to do a questions. show. No, he was asking questions about Bitcoin. I think. Oh, <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Right. And then he was like, "Also, who's good at comedy right now?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I sent him lists of times. Yeah, anyway. he's looking. Yeah, at he people. he reached out and he said, "Uh, because he he kept trying to get me to do a show, but it's always like a show in Beloit on a Wednesday, like." I can pay you in Drink two tickets. beers. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, yeah. well, that I can't. I got to work in the morning. So he messaged me recently and was like, hey, are you still not doing like weekday shows? And I was like, oh, I'm just like not doing shows because COVID. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and he's like, all right, right on. So I mean, but I still, I've done his shows and I've still like, I'm like, this dude doesn't exist. No, Who most is this? people don't believe he exists because I've gone. Never that. even seen a picture. No, oh yeah. No, there's no picture of him. There's like, no pictures of him. Somebody, you know, Antonio Aguilar, he's in Texas now. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was out of Green Bay. He's the one who told me, he's like, I'm a, I was doing a bowling alley open mic when with Larry Bloom when it was just before he started mm-hmm. producing shows and I was mm-hmm. there and then Antonio was like there's a there's a guy Crane's Butter and I was like what what's the name again Crane's Butter, Crane's butter. I had to message him because I was like I put something peanut butter and I, <laughs> and I mess- added him and it was there yeah oh KB Presents yep yeah I, I was like who's KB Presents she would have told me about that there's so pictures just don't exist he's no. a robot oh, we're gonna find this bitch Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> okay. That great, was <laughs> great detective work. Yeah, Eat your heart out, Jamie. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, that's a skyline. That's a skyline too. Because he's up, He lives in that. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was, he's that, like, was oh, that, that was another one. <laughs> so not sus- like I was hoping <laughs> for. I was hoping for some suspense, <laughs> like like him like Wilsoning like every. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, look, he's holding a thing on the microphone. I wonder if this is during COVID or before COVID, but yeah. Which one? Let's see. What's the date? No, he's... Oh, that's before COVID. You see? Pre-COVID. Germaphobe. Oh, germaphobe. Uh, he's out. Oh, yeah, he's a high Oh, he's down. holding like a... Because he wipes shit down or what? Oh, the room, room, room. I never did that room, but when I was doing shows in Milwaukee and I was doing mics, I really wanted to get do that gig. Oh, shit. That's Dude, me. that's you right there. Oh, shit. Is that it? I really met him. So, look, look. So, that, I'll tell you something about that show. That show was a... Look... You look oh my, fat there, Joe. Fat Bonnie. as fuck, oh, dude. Look, <laughs> look, so fat. Oh, look at this. Let me. <laughs> so look. Uh, so this show, I was at the, I was at an open mic. Oh wow, airplane mode. One of my listeners is, I think, drunk and keeps calling me. I think they're on Ambien. Uh, shout out to you, but uh, leave me I'm alone. On, I'm on mic right now. No, no, no. They're in a, not in a good place. So I'll call them after. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. They're they might be losing somebody close to them but anyways so getting back to the show uh, uh, <coughs> uh so no i'll come back a little bit maybe i'll cut that uh 36 18 all right i remember that so th- you see the shirt i'm wearing you see that shirt i'm wearing oh fuck yeah um i never wanted to call this pl- it's a strip club in miami that's all i say i know people know stories about me about a strip club in miami i'm not gonna say that's a strip club where the thing happened mm-hmm. but i'm not gonna say where it's not right mm-hmm. and i used to look how fat i was god sure. look, look i'm popping out of my damn the, shirt. the beard's not helping it's not doing anything oh for you in this oh my god well it's because after i broke my collarbone so from there you look skinnier good job yeah thank you thank you you're so welcome there's dave lewis there's chris schmidt uh carly mallison there's greg willett he has a house he he does antiques and he has a house that's, he invites a, that's a good coming. lineup right there and i forgot oh she went to andrea la Guzetta. andrea andrea yeah andrea guzetta really good artist uh she just, artist. You just quit a podcast right now i saw on her instagram uh but it looks like they had a good time so this was a last minute show so i'm at an open mic at this one theater in chicago and then I see Crane's post about all the groups like, oh, some show got canceled. I guess two shows got canceled. One show in Milwaukee mm-hmm. and then one show in in this area, right? So then Crane's cold calls a few places. This is Empty Glass. He has a room there now. So I guess he cold called the bar. He's like, hey, I got a show because he was trying to save the night. So then he go. So people that didn't do that show and my desperate ass who DM'd him right away when I saw the re- reaction. I was at the mic. He was like, can you make it out here? I was like, yes. So yeah. I got in my car, Get left it. the mic. I was on the list. And I remember I drove... Yeah, I don't know if I was able to pick anybody up, but I drove basically straight up there to to New Holstein, Wisconsin, right? Wisconsin. People don't know Holstein is some type of cow. And Andrea, Andreas, she grew up in the area with cows. These people are from Wisconsin, except for maybe me and David Lewis. He's from uh, Upper New York, like Brian Morton. But anyways, yeah, it was a last minute show, and it was great. And everybody, every did great. And I remember we left. They were like, "It's a small town." They were mm-hmm. like, "Don't leave." We, I, we felt like little celebrities. Oh, they so wanted to party. Yeah, so that was a cool. Uh, that was a cool little. Uh, what you? Oh, look, my magnet hit this. That's I've, special. I, how how do magnets work, man? Uh-huh, it's crazy. A, I have a magnet bracelet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does it connect with your girlfriend? Yes. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> 
So when you hold hands, it connects. Cute. That's why I went upstairs. I told you I had to go to my car. I didn't. I just want. I went to go FaceTime really quick. Between. That's <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? What do you mean? Did I do something dirty? Well. Oh yeah. You were. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't go like video. You were masturbate. FaceTiming mm. your girlfriend. Oh, just mm. a, a regular FaceTime. Like, okay. Oh, so you should not not like, a sexy one. No, because earlier I was. And he did that. He sacrificed going to the bathroom to the point where he was like very antsy about it. Yeah. Like it's a FaceTimer. That's romantic. Yeah. And it, she woke I up. I hope you don't snapping. get a bladder infection for that FaceTime. Uh, I shouldn't. Good. Right? I've been I trying to pee don't, more now. Don't, don't hold it. Don't hold it. No, no. I'm trying to pee more because I don't want to damage. Like I used to hold it. But right. It's like, I don't want to damage a penis. You know, I don't have like you see, I, I eyed that second bubbly, but it has a caffeine. Uh, I don't right. think I sent it. You're trying to pawn it off. I don't want to have a panic. Like I had a panic attack a few weeks ago, James, when I had too much caffeine, and then like we had sex, but then I couldn't them. get it up again, and I was just like freaking it's out, really like, freaking yeah. him out. Yeah, this is it, the third time he's brought it up. Yeah, I freaked out. That's why I'm like scared of caffeine now. Like I don't just it would just freak me out. I was like, like literally, he walked in, <laughs> and he was waiting to use the bathroom. And he was like, I had an anxiety attack and I couldn't get a boner and it really freaked me out. <laughs> and I was like, it's... Do you want to bubbly? It's good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there, uh, there's not a, is there a female equivalent to that type of like uh, yeah, you performance could just be, anxiety? Yeah, you could just be dry. But you guys have lube, right? Yeah, you can just use lube. Yeah. But I don't have like a lube... No yeah, male. you'd have to take like a blue pill, man. Yeah, you got to take it ahead of time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't so know. So there's nothing you do in the moment. I feel as a as a dude. Yeah, I don't know. Or or there's not. Yeah. So the dry, but like if you're apparently oh, and I learned this from an Uber driver who put cocaine on your dick. A nun, yes, put cocaine on your dick. Yeah, just do that. If you rub it on your dick, it works. If you take it. It does the opposite. It does the opposite. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I know that from experience. Rub coke on your. I dick. was wondering. Is this was to, this was a whole discussion on the podcast? What exactly coke dick is? Does coke dick mean that you can't come, or does coke me dick you mean get you can't up. get it? Up? Can't get it up. I thought that was just whiskey dick. Same thing. It's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, because huh. it's. I like, thought you just couldn't nut. No, I think that isn't that whiskey dick. Like, well, yeah, let's see what the internet. When me, when if I drink too much, either it takes a while for me to nut, or I can't nut at all. Uh, but the other thing, the white powder that you talked about, that mm-hmm. allegedly I've done before. Yeah, you can't. It's like cause wow, I've I've had the wrong idea in my head this whole time. What's yeah, a yeah. Hole? Vaccinate. What's a vax hole? Hold on. Someone who gets vaccinated brags about it. Uh, one who. <laughs> <laughs> You're being a real vax hole right now. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something sexier. <laughs> One who is fully vaccinated for the COVID virus and brags about it. You fucking vax hole. <laughs> two weeks for uh, two weeks after the second shot, and the vax hole is posting selfies from a Cancun bar. Nice PF cool on Urban Dictionary. I got oh fifty thousand likes. Oh, that's funny. I like a vax hole. Have you been vaccinated? Not yet. Which one do you want? Uh, James got what? Two and a half. Do you just have to take two? Is that how it works? So I got I got the first Pfizer shot. How many? How many total are there? Two. Two. Oh, okay. What the, the other one's Moderna. Mm-hmm. Well, there's three there's different th- brands. Pfizer. Main Which one's brands. the best one? Johnson Johnson's one shot. Yeah, that's only a one shot. The other two are two shots. Which one? Uh, but Which I think Johnson. A, I, I don't want Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, I heard yeah, like turns you into like, a gay frog lower, or something a lower. like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 80%. Yeah. Yeah. I'm signed up to get mine on the 21st, which is kind of far out. But uh, apparently there's some openings this week nearby that I might snag. Can you uh, still have sex after you take the vaccine? Yeah, I don't see why not. What the fuck? What is... Why couldn't you? Like that where day? Are you getting, <laughs> where are you getting your shot at? <laughs> yeah, di- you, could, you could leave the fucking facility and go, fuck, dude, what's the problem? You, okay, so you can have sex that Why day, Why not? Right? Yeah. I just want to make... Because, like, you know how people try to take, like, uh, what is it? Uh, ro- roofies, right? And then try to have sex on them? I did not know that. <laughs> nah, that's news to me. Somebody I did told not- me. A listener told me that, like, they, they used to take roofies. With their part, and then like I'll go to sleep, and then try to. That's what I thought that was the point. Like I saw, there was a movie with Stifler in it, right? And he, they did that particular thing, but they did it with maybe Ambi or something. They took a sleeping pill and they tried to stay up and have sex. I'm gonna ask you a question right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Is that the only time you've ever heard of or seen that happen in uh, that movie with Stifler? 
I saw that with Stifler, but then my who else told you? My, no, my friend, my friend told okay. me about the roofie thing. Just and they, to make sure and you they heard used this more than right, once. and they they used to they used to do the roofie thing, right? Because I told them, and I was like, because allegedly somebody gave me roofies, and I was like, what what are I gonna do with this? He's like, oh, you know, the butthole gets looser, and I was like, what? I don't know what to do, like. <laughs> So I used, to, I used to be like in a. I'm learning so much. So during COVID, I was in a seedier world, and like people would give you drugs allegedly, mm. but not okay. I, I had a dream, right? That during <laughs> COVID, <laughs> there's nothing was happened. People were giving drugs. So then I like, I might have my friend might have a uh, uh, club drug or date rate drug. Gay people do poppers. Yeah, I just learned about those. I didn't even know that. I did that by accident. I was in Honduras. Some dude was like, here. And I thought it was like a Vicks vapor rub. And I was like, why is my head rushing? And then I got tricked into doing a popper. Oh, there's Rufinol addiction. Yeah, Ben's. But yeah, they would like, yeah, they would take it and they would have sex. And and I was like, well, I have these. Can you send them to me? I was like, I don't know. But I was like, allegedly I had these. And then like somebody gave me acid. Uh, Well, you probably know who that is. Maybe. Yeah, I think you do. That person gave me acid. I was like, that was nice of them. They're a nice person. That's nice. Yeah, and I was like, I have it there. someone would just give me drugs. <laughs> yeah, they messaged me. I was like, oh, there I you have go. It. And they gave me stickers and acid. And then, nice. and I have benzos. Somebody gave me benzos once. And it's like, I don't know what to do with these things. Are like, people just give you drugs? There was a point for a few months where yeah, people were giving me drugs. Why? Were you blowing them? What was happening? No, it was just Why? like, allegedly, it was just, I was in a shadier world. For a few months during COVID. I think mean, most of the like drug addicts I know just aren't like giving away their drugs. Uh huh. I don't know any. They they're, like I'm me. not their friend. I guess so. They, yeah, they're like. No, Have you given them free drugs? I don't know. <laughs> Tylenol, <laughs> aspirin, ibuprofen. I took a Tylenol Sunday, right? Because mm-hmm. I was hungover after. And being, you didn't get a boner, uh-huh. so now you're never taking Tylenol. <laughs> oh, just no, that caffeine. <laughs> I took I took Tylenol, one Tylenol Sunday because I was hungover. I slept most of the day mm-hmm. because I went to a gay club. <laughs> you know how that goes. Absolutely. Oh yeah, but no, I didn't get. They dressed me up, right? They tried to dress me up to look sexier so I can I can get some free drinks. Uh huh. But no, I don't. Nobody. Then nobody offered me a free drink. Well, you were there with your girlfriend. And and then our and her friend, our friend, he's the gay. So he was the one. We could all go together, right? The gay. He was a gay friend, <laughs> and mm-hmm. he actually some 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 girl came up to us and they were like, hey. To talk for it. So there was a shy Mexican dude, probably named Jose or Juan, something name like that, right? And he was really shy. And the girl came up to us. He's like, hey, we think your friend is really cute, not me. Uh, <laughs> can't even get hit on. Well, maybe because I was with my girlfriend. Right. I hope. I fucking hope, dude. All right. I should go by myself. Yeah, you should see what happens when you go by yourself. Yeah, yeah. And this time I was invited. Last time I went there, we were in a fight and I showed up. But anyways, uh, and she was 10 minutes she was 10 minutes away from messaging me to come to come over and she was going to calm down and then I showed up and then the anger started again. But anyways, um, I was, uh, th- they came up they're like, Hey, we think your, f- your friend is really c- cute. The other, mm-hmm. the other guy. And then, so the girl was being the wing woman for the guy. Cause he's like, he's show size. Mm-hmm. You're like, come on, go dance with him. We actually went, went back to a party and there was pizza there. Wow. And that's then nice. I, and fried that's chicken, Popeye's. Wow. Fried chicken at KFC, right? I don't know if Pizza you... and Popeyes? Yeah. Pizza. Wow. And it was like, and there was a few Mexicans, but we didn't feel uncomfortable. Like, allegedly, okay. well, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because allegedly, I was at a party with her. It was after party we went. After, oh, after Z- after Zanies. Okay. Remember that I saw night? you that night. Yeah. yeah. So there was, yeah, uh, you came out to the Zanies, the late night show. And then after mm-hmm. that, uh, we we're going to hang on there, but everything closed, right? So it was nothing to go to. Everything closed because of COVID early. So then we we're going to go to my house with a friend and his wife but then he's like oh there's this other after party and we went there but then there was other mag- it was a whole different vibe because it seemed like everybody there was really high on coke and mm-hmm. everyone was doing coke and it was a whole different like this one there's pizza people are fine right. talking and this one she was like get the but i learned this time when she texted me this time like this time to go i was like we're leaving the other one i was like oh wait hold up but so i learned to not like when it's time to go it's time to Smart. go when there's a bunch yeah. of fucking mexicans cocaine mm-hmm. cocaine staring at her you ever in situations where you uh, create a party with too many i don't know mexicans italians other type of oily people uh, i'm saying oily because in the last episode <laughs> me and paul paul's persian he said we're both of the oilier races so you know italians yeah persians armenians like hornier dudes i guess allegedly uh not not really no no i don't attend a lot of parties that aren't just like <laughs> people i already know <laughs> <laughs> I like to hang out with the people I know. Oh, what have you been? It's a water thing. What have you been doing during COVID? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm not, you good? Oh God. <coughs> what, you, is it, I, what is it when you swallow the water? And it goes down the wrong tube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What That's what that? happened? I don't know. It went, down, it went down the wrong tube. Are you good? Yeah, no, I have this yeah. weird voice. It's going to go away, right? Yeah, eventually. <laughs> it sounds like I'm crying. <laughs> you look like you're crying. No. You look really emotional right now. Uh, yeah. Let's say something heartfelt. Um, I... Okay, so I love my grandma, right? But mm-hmm. she's dead. She's dead because you pulled her up earlier. Okay, I had a moment. I don't know. Do you have anybody who died? Lots. Close to you? Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go over the top one. My grandmas are dead too, yeah. Did, did, did you, there's one that you like more than the other? Oh, for sure. Okay, so that grandma, let's say that grandma died, right? Mm-hmm, I did. had a, I had a moment mm-hmm. where there's a song called La Puerta Negra by Los Tigres del Norte that reminds me of my grandma and I thought I could listen. I remember one time, this kind of pissed me off. I posted it on my Snapchat Mm-hmm. And then I felt kind of gross, but it was like I posted the song and I put something about my grandma, which looking back feels kind of gross. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm a private person when it comes to that stuff. But some girls messaged me. He's like, oh, where's the party at? Or something mm. like that. And I was, I mean, I did. End you up did. Him at a yeah, bar, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, I met him at a bar. But still, I was, a, I was pissed off. It was they grandma just me looking, at, looking yeah. out. She, grandma got you late that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Because Mm-mm. then she tried to, she's like, oh, she was there. And she's like, trying to hook me up with her other friend. And then I was just like, yeah, now I don't like either of you. So I tried to listen to that song again the other day. I think I could handle it. And I couldn't. So I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a heartfelt moment? Um, This yeah, one's but- a little bit weird. My grandpa, my grandpa Blaze, mm-hmm. uh, was the last grandparent of mine to die. And it wasn't that long ago. Okay. So the day he died, I had the wise idea to maybe just like go about my day and not like be home and grief gri- yeah grieve so i'm grieve. like let me go let me go to work and like go about my day right so i found out like that more i woke up and my parents are like hey grandpa passed away and i'm like oh man that's awful and when i got in the car that fucking sam smith stay with me song was on which is not it's like a relationship song mm-hmm. But it was relevant to that moment, and anytime I hear that song, I just fucking lose it. And then they did uh, this girl that yeah, this- my grandpa Blaze was an artist, and he taught watercolor for like years and years and years. And he had this one student; she was a younger, she was like fifteen, but he taught her how to paint. And uh, they, j- she just like that was her grandpa. She loved him, and she used to like come to the nursing home and play guitar for him. So she came out from like out of state to his funeral and she played Imagine by John Lennon. And yeah, that song, that song will get me pretty hard too. I'm getting a little emotional right now. Yeah. I don't know if you you want to cry about it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I cried at Tom and Jerry. Cry you cried at Tom and Jerry. And I can't figure out what fucking scene that could have made me cry. Like, I'm trying to think, like, what I did. I mean, there's always, like, an emotional moment in one of those fucking movies. Yeah, and I can't think like what the... downfall. Yeah, and then I turned and I was hiding, you know what I mean? Because I was, yeah. like, you know, I was hiding from my girlfriend. I was, I was like, I'm crying at Tom and Jerry. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I've <laughs> cried at Brother Bear. I think it's kind of sweet. ESPN. Um, ESPN's made you... Well, okay. That's yeah. not that weird. It was like, about the Buccaneers. They, they, like, they lost two seasons when they finally won that game. Mm. Cried. Yeah, they ESPN actually loves making grown men cry. Yeah. Now that we're thinking about it. They should kill Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> really make people fucking cry. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, are you going to come back to doing comedy soon? Yes, when I think so. You, uh, I'm uh, optimistic. You're getting DM'd? Yeah. Uh, well, I was getting DM'd I mean, a while KB, ago, though, too. Uh, not KB. Oh, yeah, it's KB. KB Presents. Oh, yeah, I got DM'd that time, too. There's a couple couple other local shows that I've been messaged about. I'm like a little bit terrified because I don't have nothing. Like I haven't written anything in this time. Oh yeah, no, I and I, I don't want to rely on strictly old jokes. <clears throat> no, I wrote nothing during yeah. COVID. Now I'm taking notes down because I, I, I'm hosting that show. It's like more stuff came up where it's like, all right, yeah, I, I can't, yeah, I can't because I was actually I was I was, I was gonna quit. I was gonna do my material that I was doing, and as soon as I got sick of it, mm-hmm. I was gonna stop. It, I was gonna take any more bookings. And be like, and tell, and li- I was gonna lie and tell people to take a break. It just focus on like online stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then I got more stuff, and it's like, all right, I'm back in it. So now I'm, I'm taking notes on things, or like, yeah, and stealing. Now it's easy. Now I don't feel bad. Now I'm not stealing from other comics, 
but I am stealing from my friends or <laughs> my girlfriend, her friend. They said something funny. It's like, look, you guys are in comics. I'm, I'm taking that. it and I'm using it. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You got to draw from life experience yeah. all the time. No, a lot no, of my jokes are written by me just hanging out with my friends. Yeah. This, that was, I would just take it word for word, the lines. And it's like, yeah. I don't feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. If it's not a comic. That's, that's, uh, what's, what's a comic rule for that? It's okay, right? It's not from a comedian. I'm not, I'm just taking all their shit. I mean, nobody's arguing with you, so <laughs> I, I don't think it's a problem. Sorry, what I was is, kind of half paying attention. What was the question? <laughs> I don't... Uh, if Okay, so your friend, who's not a comedian, yeah. says something funny, and, and you you're like, them. I'm going to use that. That's yours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If it's another comic, you... Yeah, it's... Right. Yeah. It's right. another comic, you can't take you it. You say something funny, I'm going to steal it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mike's like, just I, being yeah. a good friend. Yeah. Mike's like, I just got a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up before we came. <laughs> that, that was that was a joke I accidentally I didn't steal, but I had a parallel thinking joke with uh with Pryor. You guys know who Richard Pryor is? Yeah, I've heard, heard of him. I've heard of him yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know he was a comedian, right? No. Because I would just watch the movies with him and that white dude. Oh, okay, right, right, right. And then when I got older, <laughs> got into comedy, I was like, this motherfucker did stand up? <laughs> like the fuck? And then I didn't know. This is that dude from those movies. <laughs> the yeah, white yeah. Guy. Yeah, well, that's I knew him. It, you know, that's all. Yeah, yeah. And well, my introduction to George Carlin was the uh, conductor on Shining Time Station. Oh, really? Yeah, he was a nice little conductor, and he helped all these kids. I was a child. I watched that shit. Imagine my surprise when I see George Carlin stand up, and I'm like, oh, the conductor talks like that. <laughs> I was fucking devastated. <laughs> I was fucking devastated. Oh wow, he's like, yeah, he's like, fuck. I forgot. I, I can't think. But George Carlin was one of my influences because I had a, a black box. I don't know. You're younger than me, I think. But a black box, the stealing cable thing. We had one, so we had free HBO. Mm -hmm. So it was Chris Rock's, George Carlin, and all the people on Premium Blend. These like little shows on Comedy Central, yeah. like or Laura Kitelin or things like that, mm -hmm. and then that's and then I would see like, George, George Carlin. I'd watch a bunch of his yeah. stuff. You know, he used to pray pray to George, Joe Pesci. Yeah, it's first time I, was, I heard somebody talk about not, not uh, believing in God or something like that. I was like, wait, what? What is he talking about? Like people don't believe in God. Yeah, well, you know, well, yeah. I don't know. Well, your oh, parents told yeah. you in fifth grade, but like, uh, <laughs> no, they told me they were like, uh, Grandpa won't accept you until we do this. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's what happened. No, like I've t well, I was an atheist for a few years, and I told my parents and my grandma they they don't even ignore. It. They're like, no, no, you're not. Anyways, <laughs> like anyway, like my no. mom so calls me on Fridays, like she'll come in and she's like, hey, make sure oh you can't eat meat, make sure I eat meat. And I used to argue. Now it's like, oh yeah, oh I forgot, or okay yeah for yeah. sure. Like no, I'm having a baconator. All right, you're like fuck like, it. <clears throat> so that, yeah, I can't do it. I'm just not a not, not a religious person. No, you want kids? No, no. Mm -mm. I'm good. No? No. Want to get married again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was just a really expensive... The party was fun. Oh. The party was... So that was the best party I've ever thrown in my life. Yeah. A but like... More? But like, I don't know that I would do it one more time. Like, no. Yeah. Maybe just like have a companion. What's wrong with that? Breaking up is free. Divorce is not. Yeah, divorce is very expensive. And, and divorce happens all the time. Yeah. You've well, never been married? No. no. <laughs> yeah, that's I've good. I've been engaged once. Once? For a week. Yeah. Just give the ring back. That's nice. How much but, was the ring? Uh, Like 1500 or $2,000. Good job. But I had to hold on for this stupid ring for like a year. Oh. Until finally. It lasted a week. Until finally, like, the they asked me about it at the Jared and Vernon Hills. They're like, why do you come here so much? Because I would come... <laughs> For the warranty, right? To clean it, to keep the warranty, I, you had to take it at least once a year, every yeah. six months, whatever. And then finally, well, they asked me, I was like, what's what's the deal? Like, I'd come by myself and have this ring. And finally, she's like, I told the story. I was like, you know, I bought it, but then they broke up with me or she broke up with me and I couldn't. It was after 30 days, so they only exchanged me for another diamond. So this is uh, this is my life, right? And nobody wants to buy it because it's a cursed ring. Like, even I was like it's 500 cursed. bucks, 300 bucks. Like, I don't know. The, I don't know what you're supposed it. to do with that shit. Yeah. Nobody wants to buy your ring. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah, I tried. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with mine. Oh, you still have it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, eventually. What am I supposed to do with it? They, they, you can maybe melt it down and use a diamond for maybe do a nose ring or something like that. I got like, like that. a, it's a black diamond. Just go to Jewelers Road downtown. They'll give you 20 bucks for it. I don't, <laughs> that would be insulting. Yeah, so that it's like. That would make me sad. What I had to do. That would make me sad. <laughs> oh, so you, had sad. To, you had to get one back too? I didn't yeah. know that, James. Oh. I, was, I was engaged once before. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It was not, it was very humiliating, yeah. But they gave me what? Mm. I paid like a thousand bucks for it. They gave me like 200. 
Yeah. Wow. It's just that would be upsetting. Kick you when you're down. <laughs> yeah, that would be really upsetting. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to sell it off. But finally, they they they're like they're like you know what? Let me talk to the manager and let me pick out a watch. So I had a nice tag or for a few months until it got. Oh, uh, they were like this poor guy. Please don't kill have, yourself. <laughs> have mercy on this poor man. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> that time, was nice. It's time. To, yeah, it's time. It's time to stay alive. But now, I. And yeah, that's the thing. If you <laughs> if you propose and then she decides she doesn't want to, she doesn't get to keep it. See, I went all the way, and now I get to keep the ring. Because you were married, you were married. It's a it's, it. a, yeah. it's a married ring. So yeah, now I don't know what the fuck. It just sits in a drawer. I still want to get the Jessica tattoo, but I gotta get her pregnant first. It's, that's a curse, man. Don't you know that? Don't you know it's a you, curse you know to how, get like, someone's your, name tattooed on you? Your brain. Ignore Sterling and things. I got tattoos for each other. Look what happened. You're still friends. So? He produced the podcast, Stanley. So? So? <laughs> <laughs> but we we purposely, I was like, we are not getting names because that's a curse. Oh, You're you doomed immediately. So I'm like, we're getting things that we can pass off if we don't make it. Oh, okay. What is the tattoo you guys got? Uh, he has a feather. Uh, which, because I have some like Mario tattoos, so mm-hmm. he has like the Mario feather, mm-hmm. and I have a moon because his favorite Twilight. comic book. Yeah, oh. Twilight's his favorite. <laughs> it's Stanley's favorite. Yeah, Stanley's favorite. All right. Well, I, I, maybe I won't get the tattoo. I don't know. Uh, do you have any plugs? It's you have a any curse. plugs? I have. I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, your plugs. The Happy Corner Podcast. We are now recording every week. We were biweekly. Oh, you were. Yeah, and we're live on Twitch. Uh, so we, we go live on Sundays at one forty five. We have a pre-show and then we do our show and we have a good time. Uh, so that's weekly. I also stream on Twitch by myself. I play video games, uh, every Wednesday. What do you play? Uh, I've been playing Bug Snacks, which is a really stupid I've little. Heard it was really good. Actually. It's a lot of fun. It's a really fun game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't get a lot of people wanting to watch me play it, <laughs> but I don't give a shit. Sometimes my friends will pop in and be like, they'll use channel points and be like, eat some snacks or smoke some weed. And I'm like, sure thing, buddy. And then they'll just leave. <laughs> and I'll just continue to play video games. But that's all I got going on. But I think that fairly soon with the weather getting nice, uh, we are going to be bringing See You Next Tuesday back at Mojo's uh, in the back uh, parking lot. What about the donut? Uh, the donut, I, I need to talk that, you know, there's like 99 producers on that show. <laughs> so I need to talk to everybody who wants to be involved. But I think what's going to happen for a while is we're going to do shows in the back of the donut. There's like a nice gazebo that we yeah. could use as it. And we don't even need to set up like sound or nothing because we're all loud mouths. We can just fucking talk. <laughs> so I think first is going to be Mojo's. See you next Tuesday. Comedy open mic. It'll be every Tuesday. That'll come back first, and then we'll entertain doing shows at the Donut again. All right, nice. James, you want to plug yourself? Uh, yeah. I uh, By this time, you will be able to watch uh, the director's cut of the South by Southwest 2021 presentation that we did at Zanies Rosemont on People of Comedy's YouTube channel. Um, I believe uh, I'm also giving uh, everyone's individual set to Zanies, uh, so you can watch that on Zanies. YouTube channel. Um, if you want to follow me, uh, go to my link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Eclism, A-C-L-Y-S-M. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, at Eclism, A-C-L-Y-S-M. And uh, follow the network, People of Comedy Network, uh, on Facebook, facebook.com slash People of Comedy Network, and Instagram, instagram.com slash People of Comedy Network. Uh, oh, and we're on fucking TikTok now. Oh yeah, we got yeah. TikTok. We're we're at People of Comedy on TikTok. So Do you follow take us. You got a TikTok? I'm there, but I don't put anything. Okay, on. Just fucking use that shit, dude. Use yeah, it. Use I know. Use it. I know. I uh, know. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have so at the Lobo Den or something for TikTok and at IG the Lobo Den podcast. Patreon episode is on now, so follow Patreon, tell a friend, and then I'm gonna start releasing those more biweekly. Is that what that 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 is? So I'm gonna record more of those, and I'm gonna record release them in time. Because the last one, I finally released it yesterday, but it was supposed to be good. I gotta get my shit together. Uh, I think that's it. I really gotta pee so I don't get, uh, so I can have sex tonight. Right. All right. Love with that. Love with that. Love with that.